Hello, I am Sajesh Gupta working as a Java trainer in Narayshi Technologies. Welcome to Java 8 video series. Now, in this video, we will try to see a method reference to an instance method of a, an arbitrary type. Now, in the last videos, we have seen a method reference to an instance method of particular type of object, a method reference to a static method, a method referred to a constructor. But in this video, we will try to see a method reference to an instance method of an arbitrary type. So, here arbitrary type means any type. Okay. So, the idea with this type of method reference is you are referring to a method of an object. Okay. So, the idea with this type of method reference is that you are referring to a method of an object that will be supplied as an argument of the parameter of the lambda. Okay. Now, just try to understand this. So, rather than referring to a method of a specific type of object, now by using this, the idea with this type of method reference is you are referring to a method of an object that will be supplied as one of the parameters of the lambda. It means you are trying to supply the object, you are trying to supply or you are trying to send the object type to the lambda, the lambda call the object of this particular method. Okay. So, we will try to see with the example here how exactly this works. Okay. For example, there is one interface, assume that this is a functional interface, okay. this is one functional interface and what is the name of this functional interface is try function, assume that this functional interface name is try function and this functional interface is a generic. Okay. Now, it is having some uh, four parameters. Uh, the first parameter name is t and second parameter name is u and third parameter name is v and fourth parameter name is r. Okay. Now, this is a functional interface and this is having one method called apply. Now, apply is a method which return the value of type r and apply is a method which receive an object of type t. Now, this is object type that is what uh, here if you see this you are referring to a method of an object that will be supplied as one of the parameter of the lambda. It means you are supplying, you are supplying object type, you are supplying the object type as one parameter. Okay. Second one is uh, the values which you are passing to this apply and third one is also the value what you are passing it. Okay. So, I have just given description of this. The first type parameter of try function is a object type that contain the method to execute. Okay. It means this apply function is trying to execute a method of this particular type of object. Now, that, that type of the object you are sending as an argument to which one apply. Okay. So, the second type of parameter of try function is a, uh, of the type of the first parameter which is received by it. Okay. Then, uh, the third parameter of the try function is a type of the second parameter. Right. Okay, then, the last parameter of try function is the return type, okay, return type of the method to execute. Now, apply method returns the value of type r and apply method receive an object of type t and it receive the values. Right? Now, u and v are what uh, the values on which this apply method to be applied. Okay? Right. Then, next is uh, suppose assume that I have one class, okay, assume that I have one class I have one class and uh, that class is having two parameters and it just written one result like this. Uh, there is a class called sum. Now, assume that sum is one class and this class is having one method called do sum and this method receive two values of type word string. Okay. Uh, now, that is S1 and S2 are the parameters of string and the return type of this uh, method is what here integer. Okay. And this method what it is doing is, it is trying to convert this string representation of, it received the values of type string, but it is doing which operation addition. right? So, I am trying to convert this string to integer and I am returning it. Okay. Assume that there is one class called sum and sum is having one method called what here, do sum and this method received two values of type 
string and it convert this string values to what integer and do the addition and return it. Okay. Now, there is one functional interface and there is one class called sum. Okay. Right. Now, next is um, suppose uh, how can I represent this as a lambda expression. Okay. So, lambda expression suppose how you represent lambda expression we will try to see the difference between the lambda expression and method reference. Right. Suppose if it is lambda expression you will try to write like this. Now, try function uh, try function sum uh, first parameter is what here type and second parameter is what the value and third parameter is what value type and third parameter is what fourth parameter is what return type. Now, lambda equal to uh, this is my uh, function this is my lambda function which takes how many arguments uh, uh, it is try to receive how many arguments here 1 2 and what 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 means it receive how many types how many arguments here three arguments and uh, you are trying to say s dot you are trying to say what here s dot s dot s dot do sum and you are trying to send two arguments that is argument 1 and argument 2 now this is a lambda expression this is a lambda expression which is calling the do sum method of what sum this is calling do sum method of what sum it means now you are you are trying to send uh, the object type you are trying to send the object type as an argument to what lambda right. Okay. Now, see here this lambda receive an object of which type some type and that that method is called by which one lambda right. Now, if I am saying s dot do sum it call the function of it call the method of which one sum. Okay. Now, I am trying to say system dot out dot print line lambda dot apply lambda dot apply I am trying to send the object of which type some type and how many values I am sending two values. Now, this lambda is using this lambda is using an object of which type some type this lambda is using an object of which type some type this lambda is using object of which type some type right. Okay. Then if it is method reference right it means this is a lambda which is referring to a method of which type some type. Okay. Suppose, if it is a method reference I can write simply like this okay, try function it is having sum okay, string comma string comma integer and method reference equal to sum colon and colon do sum. It means you are trying to define here type name okay, container type name and this is a method of that container type. It means I am sending this type name okay, it means the first parameter of the lambda is what here type and you are calling you are calling you are calling do some method of which class some class okay and after that you are saying uh, system dot out dot print ln method reference dot apply apply is a method and to this you are sending the object of which type some type okay and i am saying 1 comma 4 now if you see this uh, difference here uh, if it is a lambda you are writing like this okay lambda equal to now this is the anonymous function and this is a implementation of which method apply method this is implementation of apply method and apply method is calling apply method is calling do some method of what sum okay now you are saying lambda dot apply now to this you are sending the reference of which type some type and then you are sending how many values here two values but rather than rather than writing s dot do sum argument 1 and argument 2 i can simply write uh, sum colon and colon do sum what is the sum here type name or class name and colon and colon and it refers to which method do sum method it means i'm telling i'm telling the lambda that okay this lambda is referring to a, a method of which type some type Okay, then I, I just write here uh, system dot out dot print ln my reference dot what apply I send an object of which type some type sending how many values two values. Okay, now now this is this is how uh, a method refers to an arbitrary arbitrary type arbitrary type means it can refer to any type right because the type is defined as an as a parameter type is defined as a parameter of what lambda right. Now, that is what exactly this uh, third fourth method reference type a method reference to an instance method of an arbitrary type. It means arbitrary type means the method which the lambda execute of a specific type is sent as an argument right. So, here see uh, the idea with this type of method reference is you are referring to a method of an object that will be supplied as an argument as a parameter of the 
lambda. Okay, so this interface is having one method called apply, right? This apply method, what will it do is it will take the type and it take the arguments on which uh, this this method type object is executed, right? This method type object is executed. So this type of object on which uh, the type of object on which this arguments works is defined at the time of calling it. It means I may call the apply method by sending an object of some type. I can call the apply method by sending the object of subtype. I can call the apply method by sending the object of any type. That is what you mean by arbitrary type. So the type of the type of object on which the method is called uh, that you call it as what arbitrary type. I think uh, you understood this. Okay. So. Now, these are different types of method references. Okay? So, Java 8.0 allows to use four types of method references. One is a static method reference, non-static method reference of a particular type of object and a constru constructor method refers to a constructor and a method reference to an instance method of a different type or arbitrary type. I hope you understood this. For more videos, subscribe Naresh IT channel. Thank you.